Hey everyone, this is Dusko Makas, that gamer. Apparently some people are familiar with this next game, from some other LP or don't know. Siren 9 is next up. Dead Space looking game is what I thought when I was looking at it. It was a dollar, we'll find out. We'll go through this. Saturn 9. Press the start and go through this. New game, help and options, options, start with that. Horizontal sensitivity, turn my sensitivity up, how, how I will go. If 50 is the top, then I'll set myself to 38. 38, no inversion, vibration yes, volume's fine, brightness probably fine, let's press the game super dark, which might be, hints. Okay, hints are available from the pause menu during gameplay. Well, thank you for a hint telling me where to get my hints from. Help. Run. Use tool. Flashlight. Change tool. Interact. Pause. Move. Look. Got it. No extra B uses. Let's go straight into new game. The company has lost all contact with their research vessel. You have been sent to investigate and recover the data. Oh, it's actually first person. For some reason I was under the impression this was a third person game. Anyways, la 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 la. Flashlight on off. Let's take a little bit of a peek around here. Go poking, poking. Hear those sound effects. Never know where they might be coming from until you try. So I have tools, right? Uh, apparently I don't have any tools yet because I can't use anything. Let's look around. Can I pick up stuff? No, I cannot. The up and down sensitivity need to be changed for me. Options. Turn the sensitivity of the... yeah. So, vertical sensitivity, turn that up for me. It's actually really, really low for me. That's much better. Let's see. SOS. They called SOS, and I came, but then I find no one. Oh boy, oh man, things couldn't possibly go wrong here. This is like the setup of a jillion sci-fi horror films. There's that sound effect, so you know something's either here or it's just the music of the game. Now, do I have anything to kill things with? Is it just one of those, like, I avoid the monster? There's a run option in this game. Ooh, music kicked in. They either implied something was here because I was sort of breathing sound or something else or another. I'm trying to run through here, click this. Nothing on these computer monitors. Let's see, Maybe, am I supposed to do something with this sticky note? What does the sticky note even say? Uh, it says password YXXY. Alright, so it's a password, got it. We're looking for sticky note passwords. Is it going to do the Dead Space thing, or actually it was first a Resident Evil thing that was later distributed into Dead Space about that you having to backtrack and it's going to make something jump out you go blah 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 when the thing jumps out of you, because you know, that's part of the fun. Part of the experience of jump scare heaven, as I like to say. However, though, to be honest, I didn't pick up where the password even went. Oh, press A to use computer. Computer link activity. Uh, captain log entry. We've arrived at the research site on schedule and without incident. Dr. Amanda Holtz and her assistant Samuel Curtis are already analyzing their first batch of samples. Engineer Frank Simmons has reported the successful installation of the new O2 system. I've requested an AB from the company. Hmm, two to three weeks should cover it. Interesting, I'll tell myself. Let's go back. How about this next thing? Dr. Holt's log entry. We arrived at the excavation site and collected as many samples as daylight would allow. Um, Samuel is cataloging first these finds and I'm putting them through the mass spec. Initial results are promising. I'll um, write up my crew notes tonight. The rest of the crew seem okay. Captain's a bit standoffish. When I complained about the funny smell, 
Um, the engineer fellow, who was a bit more helpful, um, said not to worry, as was the new O2 system settling in. All the foreshadowing. I replaced the old antisept aeration system with brand new Bio 2 aerators. Those are a million times better. O2 levels are now constant and I've installed surplus tanks on all decks as backup. The Copyplex unit in Lend Drive 1 is reading a 0 0.003 differential from yesterday. Could be a possible crack. Worst case scenario. So I'll do hourly checks. I've taken comms offline to rewire the anti-stat. We'll do a test message at 1800 hours. Finally... Locked, but I have the password. Enter the password. Y, X, X, Y. Unlocked. Monster sounds though when I do that. Alright, so we've unlocked something which will unleash the beast! <laughs> okay, let's go through this. Cool and cool. Alright, monster's not behind me and I'm not gonna run around a chair to avoid it. Okay. I'm not sure if I'm really in the mood to play a standard type game, but I'll just at least die once. Let the things happen. Nah, that was not. That was my footsteps. Where's where? No, no, no. They made me come over here. It's probably even more backtracking than I think. It's gonna make me go back to like the beginning and backtrack my way to something I just unlocked. Now, if I was to backtrack, where would I backtrack? Is it you, mysterious thing, kind of like a door? That was, in fact, a door. The doors in this game are loud as hell. Holy hell. Like, I can't believe how loud that was. No wonder the monster's fucking waking up and grumpy. Monster X, as I'm gonna call it right now. Let's see, we're gonna have a scare soon, though. This is always the point where we're like, Ooh. Oh, something makes a noise. We got suits here. Those are some pretty neat suits, I said. Also, my vision's game blurry or something or another. Might be the lighting. The moody lighting of the ship. Here's the computer. Captain Log 764. Let's start reading these. Dr. Holtz has requested another visit to the research site. No more samples, surely. The hold is bursting at the seams as it is. No reply from the company yet about my AB request. Did they get my message? Simmons has reported feeling unwell, so I put him on light duties. Yes. The mass spec results prove my theory. But I need more samples. Uh, that first batch have already deteriorated, and the DNA analyzer seems to be cleaning up. I've asked the captain if we can go down and do another survey. In the meantime, Sammy and I will do the dissections as, uh, as soon as the specimens fall. The engineer, um, Simmons, was it? Uh, we was hanging around the lab and acting a bit strange. He looked ill to me, but I'm no doctor. EOF. I think that stands for something? You think it's the password? EOF Enter password Honestly, I could probably guess it. It's not too many characters But Exit will find it. Forgotten your password Please answer the security question below. This question helps us verify your identity. What is your favorite food? Not enough room here for banana, but I'll put in two ends, pretend that's right. Let's go See, we apologize, but we were unable to verify our account information with the answer you provided. I mean, it was probably in the note that just played. Let me glance. Dr. Holtz has requested another visit to the research site. No more samples, surely. 
No. Here. Yes. The last spec results prove my theory. But I need more samples. I bet there's like a food sitting around someplace I'm supposed to find. And there's Simmons log entry number two, you know. Alright, I'll risk my life to find out what your favorite food is. It's fucking like banana, I just misspelled them. It. It's gonna be a fucking stupid, stupid moment. Let's see, it's probably on the other way, like probably the kitchen's over here or something. Kitchen, where are you? There's something like that too. Oxygen tanks, no doors. All the oxygen Jason. Saved my progress, so something was banging on that. Hmm. Not finding any clues around here though. So that's a shame. Yes, I have to figure out what my favorite food is from other sources. Calcium B. Milkshakes. I don't fucking know. Any notes here about favorite foods? Take that as a no. Cause I really don't see anything in these notes about favorite foods. Yes. The last spec results prove my theory. Do you guys think we're psychic enough to fit? Was the computer at a weird angle? Yeah, it was. EOF. Or oh, that's our guess here. That probably means something. EOF. <laughs> See, it's science. One of these combinations is going to be right. I know I forgot my password. What's my favorite food? Hacker, please. Ah, it's a wrapper. Let's see, but it is a word that goes with seven characters. It could be cracker, actually. Let's try Cracker. Okay, apologize, that wasn't it. Alright, I'll fucking look. It's more interesting that way anyway, so I'm looking rather than playing the guessing game. Alright, Rapper Rapper. Where is a Rapper? Where does the garden snow? With ponty plants and scottily scants and all the things to be bestowed. Hmm. Oh, I'm a rapper. Oh, they're empty. I see. You make notes when I look at things. That's intriguing. Let's see. Not through here, at least. This is the door security that we need to open anyway. Well, ain't that just such a shame. That's how I run, but I'm guessing this game is one of those games I have super limited stamina in. So I should probably be careful with that. This is where I came from. You guys have any wrappers or hints? I'll look across the desk, but... Outside of that, I think I'm gonna go back because I'm pretty sure the clue would be somewhere over here. Let's see. Glancing. Think of all the seven letter food names. I mean, you're the most conspicuous thing here. It's an emergency suit for just such an occasion. Let's see. I mean, it might be just on this desk. Let me look. Flash times. I can never read this stuff. No notes about food there. I guess you do kind of look like a microwave, but I can't do anything with you. Nope, that was just my imagination acting up. Oh boy. Door security. Hmm. 
There are a lot of foods that go with seven layers. Something that you'd find packaged. Something packaged. Ah, whatever. I, mean, I should just find it, but if it's not here, then obviously it's ahead of you. That was a cool flashlight turn on effect. Does that usually happen? Let's find out. Magic wrapper, where do you hide from me, magic wrapper? This is where I started, I believe. But hey, maybe there is something at the beginning. See, it's an airlock. Air lock. Locked me into the air. Because I am indeed, I believe, in space. Is that a wrapper or whatever? Nope, you're just a shiny part of a chair. Well, that's silly. So dark, you can't even see shit. Oh, okay, I see. Let's see. Instant noodle. It was noodle. Got it. Now then, did I take the right turn? No, I took the wrong turn here. Gotta go back and gotta put in those noodles, don't you know? Instant noodle, to be precise. Let's see. I should have guessed it, honestly. It's pretty simple. Alright, let's do that password unlocking thing. We heard a banging on the locked door before, so obviously this is also going to unlock the beast! Ah! I bet I know how it's going to pop up too. At least I have a theory. It's actually two theories, so I guess I don't really know fully. Near, EOF, door sensitivity, enter my password. Not my password, I forgot my password notes. We need to type in noodle. There's N. I believe that's it. Yep, that is good. No, 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 no. How do I go back one? Good. No. Dolls. My password is uh, reset to XXX. Got it. Alright, and then my password, XXXX. Unlocked. Yay, unleash the beast. He's only gonna go beautiful places. Now we're getting ready, because I think the beast is gonna start attacking now, because there's the bane, bane, baning on the door before. Music class I could pick up. I had a prediction that monster was gonna appear through this hallway, so I have to run to my right. But, you know, whatever. This works too. Maybe I have to run backwards. That might be a little bit more fair, actually. Let's see. Open sesame door? I was kind of expecting the monster to open up the door. Whatever. Stand back and let it open. I'm really not in the mood for a slender type game right now. Just play hiding and seeking. Low oxygen. That did make me jump. I'll get Fred there. Obviously, where I need to go is where the oxygen tanks were. Come on, oxygen tanks. Those are empty. I'm boned. Oxygen. Oh no. Oh, uh, the suit? Yes, maybe. Yeah, I know the suit might have it. Ignore the oxygen. I bet the monster's gonna pop up after this anyway. Gotta go get the oxygen. Gonna move in slow motion. Making my way to the suit. If this isn't right, I'm gonna have to make way, so yeah. Let's go in slow motion. To the suit. To the suit. Hello, suity. You have what I need? I guess you don't. I guess the only way forward is actually forward. I don't recall where oxygen was. I'm hunting. I'm looking. It's not behind me. I'm kind of boned. 
I'm gonna take a risk and go forward looking for oxygen, not backwards. It's a risk that I'll have to take. I like how you move in slow motion when you're almost out of oxygen, though. Keep it up. Just gotta go forward. Losing the ability to run. Thankfully, the oxygen is dwindling very slowly. Let me look around here for oxygen. Oxygen, oxygen, where art thou? Not behind here. Guess not. Don't see him over there either. Let's see. Still charging away to you. Why, thank you guys. You have any oxygen for me? I mean, I'm not sad that you decided to come down. Or you disappeared, impaled yourself on a spike, I see. That probably wasn't good for you. Forward heading I go. This is some of the slowest dwindling oxygen in existence. I think it's more of a story moment than anything. Who's raining? I'll answer the phone in a second, ma'am. Let's see. Where's the leak? I'll fix it. I'm Engineer Isaac, not Clark. The phone sounds have disappeared, so that's a shame. Just gotta keep marching forward. Now, if I were... Oh. My oxygen is going dangerously low. It's hard as hell to hunt for it right now. I think this was story focused because now I'm suddenly going all crazy with oxygen. It's probably where the light is here too. There's oxygen, yep, there we go. Well that was fun. I kinda like the crazy effect though. Alright, time for the next monster or whatever. Or monster, because we haven't actually seen that met the monster yet. It did seem very scripted, so yeah. Looking on ahead, the big epic door. Kinda looks like a grinning toothy face if you look at it from one angle. <sighs> Open sesame. Is the monster gonna show up? No? I'm actually kind of happy, but at the same time it's like, uh As it's raising one's expectations for such a monster to show up. You okay, man? I think you should get that checked out. Though you might have already got it checked out because it seems to be the medical ward. Is my hand good enough for you? Oh! Yeah, okay, that, that was cool. Let's see. Checking around. Need a bioscan somewhere. Can I take your hand? Nope, won't get able to take a hand for me. Let's try the computer. Read these entry logs. I need to move this a little bit over here. First log. There's something seriously wrong with Simmons. I think he needs urgent medical help. The engine is not responding, though. Problem seems to be in the line drive one. Still no response from the company. Could be interference or something. I better set a, a distress beacon. The captain has informed us, on no uncertain terms, that we need to return to HQ. Um, but there seems to be some sort of technical hitch with the ship's engines, apparently. We'll have to make do with the samples we've already collected. Uh, I guess I'd better pack up all our stuff. Samuel said he saw Simmons today. He said he looked ghastly. I tried to tell him something. He could only point. Before he collapsed. Oh, I've uh, double checked the DNA analyzer and it's working fine. I think it's picking up some sort of background contamination. Uh, it could be in the ear. I'm gonna get myself a respirator.
there's the EOF thing again. Why is EOF important? I don't know. Here's some medical notes too. Oh boy, multiple medical notes. I actually have to read these out loud. Cerebral hypoxia, uh, hypoxia is a form of hypoxia, a uh, reduced supply of oxygen, specifically involving the brain. Without sufficient oxygen to sustain life, individuals will feel dizzy and are prone to hallucinations. Alright. Multiple diseases. There are many species of parasitic that will frequently or even routinely kill their prey without consuming much of it. This apparently wasteful strategy sometimes might have the effect of reducing the risk that the prey could escape or offer resistance. Symbiosis. Symbiosis is a close and often long-term interaction between two or more different biological species. Bennett used the word symbiosis to sharply define the mutual or the mutualistic relationship in Lichin or Lichens in 1877. Well, now we learn stuff. That was just a learning opportunity. Let's go back into the dark. Nothing else here. I can't take his hand, apparently. So, we're, well, maybe we might need a tool to take his hand out for him. So, darkness, go, go. To the left is nothing. This way is a computer. That was empty for oxygen, so there we now again. That's not the point I'm supposed to go to. There's another thing of oxygen, though, and another computer. Press A to use the keypad. Keypad link active. So there's obviously a hint somewhere about how we're supposed to use the keypad. I mean, I'll bet you that it probably happened behind us. Like somewhere in the I'm delusional crazy section, but could be here too, so I'll look around a bit extensively. Nope, not seeing much. Let's see. I think there's like a warning somewhere which has the number on it. Turns out that, that stuff doesn't work. Was there a number in here somewhere that I'm not thinking of? Probably not. There's probably something or another to hint towards this, but whatever it is, I haven't thought of it yet. Six seven six two, or actually it's eight one six seven six two. So the password is probably not six seven six two. That was indeed not it. Hmm. Scratch my head there for a second. I bet you it's backtracking involved. Oh boy. Maybe it's on the ceiling, or maybe it was in this computer note file somewhere. Three, three, three. There's something seriously wrong with Simmons. The captain has informed us. No numbers. EOF. Nothing here about it. I guess the most likely option sounds to me like it would be something involved with this corpse in the middle of the room. Wait, wait, what? Oh my god, the game just got super laggy there for a second. I don't even know why it got super laggy, it just got super laggy there for a second for no good, real good reason. Uh, actually, I can't backtrack even if I wanted to. So it's not that. It has to be something here. It's like this thing of noodles. He's got five fingers on one hand. Five fingers on the other hand, so that's nothing to do with finger numbers. No needles, no razors, no cease. Why is those are dangerous to have around generators? Unless Chris there's some weird history behind this I'm not aware of. Very green mossy screen at the moment anyways. Hmm. Nothing on this oxygen container. 
is pretty much by itself as well. Keep a link active, just like. Turns out that random guests didn't actually say what it was. Okay, so the only thing that sticks out here, the only thing that kind of makes sense to me if that would maybe be it, would be if it was on the computer, because that's the only thing here outside of anything I can do anything with, more like it. Just ram things around here, yes, but they don't have any numbers involved in them. At least anything that I can see. I can't go forward because I don't have a hand. This is like this. My bio scan is failing. I was thinking I have to take a hand from this guy. But apparently I can't do anything with him yet. Maybe I need to get like a saw or something to saw off his hand. But the point is at this point in time I can't do anything about it. If I interact with this door, I can't get through at the moment. Bio scan fails every time. Nothing over here, so it has to be on the computer. What am I missing on the computer? Let's go to the medical notes, maybe something here. Wait, 1877! That's just, yeah, 1877. Come on, silly old me. It's always the date, if it's a four number digit. Right, now I feel stupid for not thinking about this earlier, though. If it's not it, then I don't know what to do. But, 1877. Ta da! Bone saw picked up. I can't believe I didn't figure that out until right now. It's the obvious stupid answer whenever there's a date involved. Now I'll saw off this guy's hand. These were nice people. This used to be a nice neighborhood. I use the bone saw, you know you want to. Come on. There's a dead body right here. Waiting for you to ask him a question. I'm really not gonna do anything about it. Maybe I pick it out of my inventory. Oh yeah, wait, yeah, I need to switch my tool, right. I was sighed on the railroad. Alright, this side's a little bit closer, so... <laughs> Not good enough for you? Alright. Yay! I got an arm. I'm so proud of myself. Alright, let's do the bio scan. I know it failed. Have a hand. Is the hand giving a thumbs up? <laughs> That's actually what it's doing. Haha. -ha. Oh boy. Now, monster door times. There was someone crazy in here. We saw them before. That or I'm insane! Ran over to this door thing, but that's not actually a door thing. So where the fuck did he go? Inside here? Am I gonna start having this chase sequence? He's gonna burst out here and start chasing me the moment I go through here? Guy. My bad for some advice? Oh boy. Let's go take a look, sees. All the open corridors, all the open corridors, where do they all come from? Not back here with these boxes, that's for certain. Okay, scratch my eye for a second. Fuck this oxygen lotion. Oxygen. Air code, you're a warning of oxygen will die. My error code Xbox Live message popped up to tell me this. I'm looking for oxygen. Can't you tell? I'm walking through this deep, dark, dank corridor for a little bit to try and find it. Alright. Kinda looks like a boat now. Does this one actually have a time limit? I don't fucking know. Fuck the I need. Is that a gravestone? Here lies Q, died November 2013, rip. Yay, my gravestone. Through here. 
Oh, the door is opening. Well, there goes my concealment. Welcome. Saving progress. I need oxygen. Ugh. Oxygen, come on. Where is it? Where is that beautiful oxygen? Probably there in the light again. These lights get your attention. Yep, there it is. I'll run this way. Press A. Catch you later, Bud Nick. Wait, did it actually freeze for you guys? So, oh, it froze for you guys and then came back. You guys missed the fun parts though. Did you guys didn't get to see the gravestone of the monster, did you? That's a shame. Alright, well the monster was like, Bleh! and ran off. Oh boy. He ran this way though, so I'm following him at the moment. He makes loud screeching noise and kind of looks funny animated. Monster, wherever did thou go? Probably through here. It's funny walking animation, maybe kind of less scared, <laughs> to be honest. Let's see. Walking through here. One of these days, I'm gonna find something. When that day comes, I'll run. Is there anything inside here? Looking for anything I can use as a clue, there's probably another computer system gonna tell me more things. Probably through this door then. Door. Are you through here, Monster Man? Monster. Monster Man. There's a red thing. There's two red things. We're now in a very splendid relaxation chamber. I'll relax all day long. You're not through here, Monster Man? Apparently not. I can't even open this. Can't turn valves, apparently. Too difficult. Let's see, anything inside the bedroom? Oh, this is locked. I need some key or something for the padlock. It's like literally a key all of a sudden, because it's literally a padlock. We live in a space age. We have spaceships, we have futuristic technology, but we have no chance of having anything other than a padlock to protect our key door things. All right, screwdriver. Can I examine the tools and open up the locker with a screwdriver? It's a screwdriver of something else. Could be a dentistry for all I know. Here's a computer though that's alive. Let's learn things. Captain Log, number four. Simmons has attacked and killed Dr. Holtz and Curtis. He seems to have contracted something that has changed him beyond all recognition. He's currently hiding out in the cargo hold. No response yet to our SOS. So I, I guess I'll have to get past him to repair the lens drive myself. If I've got any hope of getting out of here alive. I've holed myself up in the lab. Simmons has gone crazy, and oh my god, he killed poor Samuel. The captain's no use at all. My only hope is... What's that noise? The engineer, so Engineer Simmons needs to really seriously stop writing just EOF, network access. Enter password. Oh, I need a password for this. It's another seven character password, and I doubt this time it's noodles. Alright, well we have a screwdriver. We have a monster. Uh, I have a lock, but I'm not going to check out the locks after I've checked all these rooms. Oh look, another thing. Maybe I can use a screwdriver here. Let's find out. <laughs> the fan is giving a bloody thumbs up looking thing. That is semi-hilarious. Trying to wiggle waggle. Oh, there you go, we broke it open. Turns out there was nothing inside here. That's one locker of disappointment. There's another locker right here. In fact, there's several lockers everywhere. Can I shake the milk jam, please? With all those instant noodles that are all over the fucking place? Wonder if I'm supposed to use this tool I've obtained. Oh, here we go. Shows a person here. Password is M A R I L 
Baltimore, so Maryland. It's like Marilyn and McRae, and whatever her name is, I don't fucking know, it's Marilyn. God, that gets a bloody thumbs up from me. Alright. Let's see, that's where I came from. There's a few other things I wanted to unlock, though. Like, one of them might be a scare, right? Or maybe the monster's inside one of them. Oh, that's a question. That one actually made a noise, but there's nothing in it. Marilyn, Marilyn. Hippie, hippie, joy, joy. Hippie, hippie, joy, joy. I mean, there wasn't, there's no notes over here. Alright, you. Let's uh, use this magical tool here. Turns out there is nothing inside all the lockers. And somehow me opening up all the lockers is going to make the game more difficult for myself. I'm predicting it now. Anyways, let's go up to the computer and type in our password. Network access, the password is... So, and... That's an A over there, yeah, that's an A over there. With an R... I think there's another A... And then L, Y, N. L... Y... N. I'm pretty sure that was it. Wait, no, wait, no, I misspelled it. It's probably with an I. Oh, yep, you guys tell me that. Even though I. You told me the moment I figured it out. Yeah, I'm Mayor. Uh, Alright, so. Green door. Green door online. zip code thing. I mean, there's only... Think of it like this, Ryan. There's only a certain number of common... There's only 999 possible combinations it could be. Pin door. Door number one. Apply from 151. Address 151 for door number one. Door number two. 303. 455. Door number four. I'm gonna open door number four first. Let's see what that is. 607. Five is not online. Got it. So six oh seven is the door I think I want to open up first. Door number four. Six oh seven. See six. There's no zeros. I can't paint it because there's no zeros. It becomes impossible. Six, oh, seven. All right, so I need to find the one without any zeros in it. Three, four, five, five. That's when I could do. Three, oh, three. One, five, one. So five, one, five, one, and four, five, five. I could both do. So what was it? Was it one five one? Like I think it is. Through here. That wasn't it. Yay for memory. Let's see. Going to painting the doors. Pain door number three. Painting door number three. I did not mean to paint door number five. 
Philippines are number three. So it's four, five, five, four, five, five. Let's, uh, so four, five, five. Wait, no, it's one, nine, two, though, with me. One, nine, two, one, six, seven. Am I really gonna have to do door number one? One five one. Wasn't that what I was doing beforehand though? Or maybe there's a pattern in the numbers so I have to Maybe I need to find the pattern and all the pe yeah, I think that's it. I think I need to find a pattern with everything. In fact I think I have a theory right now what it might be. Uh so the first one, the middle number is five. And then it's zero, and then it's five, and C. So my uh, my guess works that the middle number is gonna be five. Let's look at the pattern in the first number. It goes from one, two, three. If the next one's five, I think I know what the pattern is. Obviously, one to three to four. So it goes to four. One, three, four. Six? Well, the number is going up. That much is obvious. So it can be anything above six. So blank. So something seven or greater. Five. What's the top one? So this is one. Through here. It's three. So one, three, five. This is seven. It's obvious. So the last one's 9, so it's something greater than 7, so 5, 7 is at the very end. Bring the door online, let's try, first of all, 7, 5, 9. There we go, I solved it. Computer, press A, use computer. Did I already open the door though? What door was I trying to open? Alright, time to fucking do whatever it is I was doing. I don't even know what door I opened though. Was, it, was there a door? Yeah, right here. Okay, that's the door I'm just probably trying to open. Now, we'll monster up here while I run out of oxygen. Oh, puzzle. I like the puzzle focus, but I'm guessing probably I can't have a puzzle focus forever. Let's go through here. This is a suspiciously short hallway. Door hasn't closed yet either. Blood. This is only gonna go good places, you can already tell. Find all the research data, then escape the ship. Ah, here we go, Slender Rescue Time. It's got all the corners and all that of a Slender game anyway as well. Find research, then escape the ship. Has the whole game really been building up to this moment of... Ooh, Slender Endery. Kind of disappointing if that is actually the case, but you know it's probably gonna make me scream anyway. I can see it working that way, anyways. No, this game. All right, so data. No, those are fucking noodles. Well, let's <laughs> curse. I'm trying to research the noodles. I'm pretty sure that's not what I'm looking for. Noodle research. Let's see. Around. Is this the research I'm looking for? Life form detected. Oh no, I need to avoid this guy. His AI is stupid though, so it makes my life easy. One of five. It's okay, he'll figure it out eventually how this works. Tables, how do they work? It's okay. He's figuring it out. Give him a moment. Ooga booga looga way. <laughs> Just let him go. Totally not a zombie. Let's see. Killer clown. If I look away and look back at him, no, he doesn't teleport. Uh, okay, he also moves kind of slow. Let me go over here. Let's test his speed a little bit. Yeah, his speed's kind of slow. I see the next thing of research. Let's make a second one appear. Oh, he teleports. Maybe pick it up, though. 
Or is there only one? Or is there two of them? So that makes two. If you get the only thing I'm worried about is if you get catches you, it's probably you have to start all over. I don't want to do this over and over again. If it had company in the eye, it'd probably be more scary. It's also kind of like, eh, because I don't like him teleporting, because then you might accidentally get caught. If he, like, touches you once, and if it's game over, then I'd be like, bullshit. Yay, teleports to find you. That makes him just feel cheap, though, as opposed to actually scary. Now then, looking, of course. Research data. He makes a noise whenever he teleports, though. I'm not sure if that helps or doesn't. Still feels cheap, though. Probably back here is the piece of research. This is the ramen noodle place I was at earlier. Uh, watch out for them nasty noodles. Them ramen noodles everywhere. Splay off all those ramen noodles. Call off to form. Four or five, or is it four or six? It's four or five. Uber Dick's a jump scare whenever I collect them all and escape. Place your bets now. Just keep on looking for this. Who wants to also bet that AI got caught in something, probably? It seems fairly likely. It's gonna make a screeching sound or a chirping sound or something. Alright, still hunting for this last thing. It's probably somewhere over here. Because I left this area alone for a while. Because where he popped up from earlier. Back here. I mean, I haven't really looked over here. This seems like the most likely spot. Am I right, folks? I'm probably right. It's somewhere around here, I'm not as like sure where is the problem. Which makes this difficult. Who was the character that said it like this? There was this character that says things like that must be difficult. <laughs> oh! Well that was cheap. I found that's kind of cheap. Just whoa, hug. It's just blaring loud. That's the thing that's cheap about it. Not to mention that he came out of literally nowhere on my screen. So you know that's fun. Actually, I know I predict what's gonna. Happen. I think I know what's gonna happen. He's uh, going to like. I actually have a full prediction what's gonna happen. I'm gonna collect the last piece, I'm gonna run out of oxygen, and I'm gonna have to barely make it, and then I'm gonna probably die or something. That's actually the ending, and I called him and be like, really? Bullshit, Captain. Okay, where is he? Oh, there he is. Got it. The right side of the screen flickers and all the wings around you. Does he get faster when you collect more of these? Or does he actually just teleport like I thought he was for a little bit? I don't actually think he. Never mind, he teleports. He teleports for some of them. Because he was definitely not over there before, obviously. But he hasn't seen him teleport for all of them. Now it seems like he's teleporting more often. Bah. I'm actually not a fan of him teleporting all over the fucking place. That seems less legitimate to me. Makes him seem more cheap and less fun, I guess. I'm also not a big fan of the one hit, then you lose all of your thing, you gotta redo this. I kinda just wanna finish this soon. Let's see. Where, oh, where is the thing I'm hunting for? 
They probably have some randomized elements so you couldn't just tell where all of them are from the top. Even with all the instant noodles in the fucking world. Okay, somewhere nearby. Here's some notes. It sounds like it's over there. It's gonna move through here. Gotta keep hunting these notes. Is he actually that close behind me? Yep, he actually is. He does get a little bit faster, I guess. Is he really teleporting to? I have to play a little bit of hooky around with this guy this time. Let's play hooky. Okay, he caught me there that time too. Cheapness. I'm not gonna find more than 405, it seems. Find all the papers and escape the ship. You're actually dead, Evie. Chee chee. Alright, let's see. But I'm determined to beat this because of my stubborn streak. So let's see. Stubborn streak? Can you make me not get uh, this? It's not fun recollecting things, because uh, the Slender games have the advantage there's a goal to see how many you can collect and then get out of there. Then it's sort of just an objective to see how many can I get. In this case, you have to collect them to win. You've already been playing this game for a while, so there's like no advantage. It's not like, see how many you can collect before he catches you, even though he's fucking teleporting everywhere. Because that was the most obvious teleport I think I've ever seen. What the fuck? Stop doing this! This teleporting is extremely cheap. This is also the problem. It makes it not really fun because then you can't strategize against him because he might just pop up and we're like blah. And last time I think, I think originally he literally teleported on top of me, which is how I lost. Because he was not there literally a second before that. pause here and think. I kind of have an idea of how this area is shaped off now because I've been checking this, but he's like, surprise, motherfucker, because last time he was not there. He literally just popped up out no, the first time. I had four of the things collected. I hadn't seen him for a while, and he literally popped up in front of me. He was like, blah. Anyways, though, let's continue hunting. Because he definitely can teleport. We can confirm that 100% now. He definitely teleports over the fucking place, but yeah. Now where he teleport to. Hopefully not the direction I'm going. Hopefully behind me or something. Because that screen means that he's visible, but I don't actually see him. Hmm. If I was a research paper, where would I hide myself? Hopefully somewhere intelligent rather than somewhere stupid. Then we have to make the escape after this. That's because the ending happens like in the Slender game, the one you pick up the last one. It's the you can never escape ending. Which always feels like a cop out to me, but you know, whatever. It's gonna probably be around the corner because I was over here. I hate turning corners, but I need to turn corners because the paper thing documents whoever I'm looking for could be anywhere. Ooh, spooky. It's that randomized element. I bet they developed this part of the game first. It just kind of seems like it. And they built the rest of the game around it to build up to this moment. Now I have 4 out of 5. Now it's about time to die. He's going to teleport cheaply somewhere. Especially since I haven't actually seen him in a while. He's, he's not going to stay collecting all these down. And unfortunately, I'm in an area with a lot of twists and turns. So we could just be literally anywhere. <sighs> okay, let's see. Thing I'm trying to collect. Oh, actually, there it is. Go to the airlock? Problem is, where the fuck is the airlock? The only thing I can think of is where that dead body was I passed a few times. I guess that kind of looked like an airlock, but there's like no direction right now. I don't want to get caught by him right now, I just want to finish this. Did any of you guys pick up where the airlock was? I mean, I thought this was it, honestly. The dead guy. Guess not, though. Was it where I came from? Maybe it's where I came from, originally. You guys think it's where I originated from? 
I mean, no matter what, it has to be across the wall someplace, right? So if I follow the wall, logically I should eventually find it. Probably don't want to get myself in a dead end, though, in case he's still there. He might have despawned for some stupid ending, though. Oh, never mind, he's still there. I want to leave. Where is this fucking airlock? Is this it? This is probably it. No, that's not actually it. Oh boy. It's not where we came from, it's someplace else. The airlock is in your heart, sentimental music plays. <laughs> There's no way out. No, 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 cancel. Hints. SOS Pastor 1 Network. No, it's not any of these stuff. I forgot there was even a hint thing. But where, what the fuck? Where's the airlock? The answer is 70 to 5 point. Help. I right, think for the controls run down. I'm sure I haven't figured those out yet. Game, where the fuck is your airlock? I want to win. Where is he? Oh, there he is. If I lose because I cannot find this fucking airlock, I'm gonna fucking. Uh... Oh, okay, it got closer than I expected. I'm actually kind of happy I looked behind me. Thank you for growling. I almost didn't actually realize that you were there, and he teleported right behind me or something. Yep, he's starting to teleport all behind me all the time. Come on, you look like you're the airlock! I am not having fun doing this. It just feels cheap to the cheapness. Teleporting all the fucking place now, so it's like. Uh, I mean, is over here? Is the airlock down here? Uh, fucking a! I swear I've been through here already. Now I sound super close and ooh, blah blah blah. I'm right behind you. Because he is right behind me. Airlock! Found it! Now if he catches me when I'm waiting for this to fucking open, I'm gonna fucking scream my head off. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> that is bullshit. Expected it, but like, really, it's just. Uh, What's the first thing? I did? Blah blah blah. It's a creature. You should be happy. I'm so fucking stubborn. But if I lose this time, I am over with you. I'm over with you, game. I'm just gonna look at the ending or some shit. Let's see. Cause I, if that was the ending, which I think it is, then I was right next to it, and that's bullshit. I shouldn't go in here. He's right there. I got caught because I stupidly did it like this. Come over here. I can outmaneuver you, but it's not gonna. Yep, there we go. <laughs> the screen all got glitched up. 